Hey, welcome used guys. I want to invite you to another one of our fabulous sales. And I just want to start out by saying, I told you so. Remember I told you how grand this sale was that we had to do it in two? We did the first one two weeks ago. This week is going to be the second one this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think that is 17, 18, 19. Check the calendar to verify make sure I'm right. Go to statesales.net, make sure I'm right. Because I could be wrong. It could happen. Um, you know, I just want to give you a little shot of the trailer right there behind me too, just so we can get this thing going. Um, but listen, guys, seriously, this is above and beyond what I told you it was going to be. It is packed full. For those of you who've made it to the first sale, you are not going to believe that we had the first sale and still had this much in the house to bring in. For those of you who didn't make it to the first sale, shame on you because you missed a gold mine. And guess what? Gold mine number two is inside. It is exactly what we called it to you before. It is an outrageous dream of a sale. So listen guys, further ado, I'm not gonna talk about me much more. And I know you guys don't really like looking at my face. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and teach you on the tour. Just let me give you a little heads up right now. It's so full. Tour will take about 20 minutes. Please watch the video all the way through so you get the full effect of everything that's in here. Um, I'll do a little bit of chatting, but I know you don't want to hear me chatting all the time, so I won't overwhelm you either. I'm going to start outside. Um, just remember lots and lots of plants and stuff. We will spread them out, but because it's in the villages, we don't want to spread them out until the day before the sale. So right now it's going to look a little congested for the picture, for the video, but once the sale day gets here, you guys will see it. It'll be all spread out and nice and pretty for you. All right, I'm going to flip the camera around now, guys, and let you get started started all right got lots of greenery lots of just those big heavy duty plant uh planters take them home plant out your plants hey just a quick fyi if you buy one of those planters you're taking it home with you don't dump it out here in the yard that's rude to somebody else's house we've had that happen a couple of times recently and it's just not very nice so remember to treat the house the same way as you would your own all right I do have the garage door open for lighting, but I'm not going in that way. I'm going to go in through the front door. I'm going to flip around this way, show you guys some more plants over here. A lot of great, great plants, guys. Just bring them home, give them a little green thumb action, and you guys will have them things back looking beautiful and full. Some hangers right there. Right here, we got some uh, more wall hangers right here. Bring you around here. We got a little bit of outdoor stuff here. Not a lot, because you guys bought it all up the last time. A little fishy on the wall. Got a couple chairs, a little bit more outdoor stuff. Some hand tools right there, gardening, that kind of stuff. And you got the wreath on the front door. All right, guys, let's get you in the house, get you started. All right, as we go in here, I'm gonna take you around here to the first office slash bedroom here. Look at that on the wall on the door there. All that costume jewelry there. Got some needle point up above it there. I'll come in and make it a little flip around so you guys can see it closely. All right. How about some stuffed bears? A couple guys there. A couple little cast iron toys. We got some more jewelry, lots and lots of more jewelry. A couple statues there. Picture frames. Go over there. How about some books? We got cookbooks, we got regular books, we got novels, we got all kinds of stuff, guys. Those two round tubes right there are from Epcot Center from the Gardening Expo. Gardening Expo, excuse me. Books on the floor. How about picture frames, guys? Look at these. Whole table picture frames. Most of them are still brand new. All right, got a bookcase back here. We got some more bears, some odds and ends, a few more books, picture frames, nice little uh, side table there. And then there's a TV table buried underneath there. Got some media on it, picture frames in front. How about some nice decorative pillows? Okay, right here in the middle, we've got a Thomas Kincaid table. Thomas Kincaid uh, puzzles all over the top. I'm going to back out there a little bit and show you underneath the table. There's lots more bears. All right, then over here, take a look at all the books and stuff, guys. A little bit of office stuff there, not much. 
Got some uh, flowers. Some more picture frames. How about a couple dolls back there? Some angels. Lots of angels in this house, guys. All right, a couple wall decorations there. And we're done with the first room, guys. Over here, we got some linens in the bathroom, and the linen rack there is for sale, too. A couple decorations here hanging on the walls. Nothing in the closet. All right, guys, first section here. I'm going to take you to the first table here. Got a nice little teapot there, a little Christmas there. A little Christmas there. Looks like a lunch bag. Some wall decorations, hangers. Last time a couple of you guys were asking about Christmas trees. We got a Christmas tree in the box there. A lighted magnifying glass there. Okay, I'm going to start here. I'm going to go slowly. Most of this is Christmas tree ornaments. Different sizes, different styles. A few little decorative pieces to put around the house. And there's probably going to be a little bit more that we put on this table. We got some lighted Christmas tree village houses. Some small ones. Some more. Christmas tree ornaments there. Just depends on your style. I can't imagine that we do not have your style at this house. This is a Victorian style of Christmas ornaments. Umbrellas back there. Look at all the umbrellas. Got a couple of dolls. Little watering cans and boxes. All right, guys, I'm going to turn around this way and get you out of here into the next room. Bed did sell at the last sale, guys, so that one is going to be picked up after this sale. So you don't have to worry about it. Hmm. Let me show you about this uh, art here. This is painted by a guy named Skipper. It is from Key West, and I'm pretty sure that all of these stayed in the uh, Flagler Hotel down in Key West. Flip around this other side here. Okay, I think we've got a couple more boxes of Radka ornaments. Those things sold like hotcakes at the last sale. So be prepared. We're going to have those out on the table here somewhere. All right. Flip you around here. Got some shrubbery and greenery underneath the table. I think there's a nice little wicker side table over there. Let's show you the table here. This is all, as one of our cast members likes to say, teacups. We sell people's teacups. I actually like this style, this little floral patterns and all these different little things there. Although my wife would kill me if we ever tried to bring that in my house. That nice little spot there. Look at all these uh, cake topper covers. What are we going to use them for? But they're pretty darn cool. Alright, got some more wall art up there, decorative pieces. Alright, we got a nice sleeper sofa here. Again, guys, never been used, never been set on. Covered with nice decorative pillows. Okay. I'm going around the room because then I'm going to do around the center table. This is a nice uh, curio cabinet. Got some pieces in it. We're probably going to put a few more pieces in it. Right here is a nice little bistro glass top table. It's got one, two, three, four. I think it has six tape chairs, believe it or not. Two nice lamps there. On this side, there's two nice lamps. And then behind them is two candle holders. Again, more flowers and greenery and stuff. Remember the statues, guys? They're still here, so if you're looking for those, those are Carl Wagner's, signed and numbered. Okay, we are looking for somebody to come and grab those guys up. All right, let's take you down this table. Odds and ends, lots and lots of odds and ends and bits and pieces and 
decorative stuff to put in your house. Got some decorative plates there. Let me get you a shot under the table there. All right. Now I'm going to turn around and let you see this middle table. I'm going to start in this corner. I'll give you a shot. Got some Christmas there. And then we got green. I am going to step it up a little bit, guys. I see my counter there is running a slow, and I've been going a little too slow. But I just enjoy sharing these videos with you and letting you get to see what we do and what we, why we do it for you. Because remember, guys, it is all about who? It's all about you. Or green, green, green. I made a green table for you. I say I did. It was really the the cast members who did it for you. you. Got lots and lots of Christmas, guys. And what's the best time to sell Christmas? The week before Christmas. That is absolutely the best time. All right. I'm going to show you the bottom underneath here. And then I'm going to turn around and show you the next Christmas table. I'll start on the bottom. And then I'm going to go across the top. Look at those cookie jars. What about nutcrackers, guys? What about nutcrackers? Everybody loves those. They're so cool. We have a whole town of nutcrackers. Ornaments. How about Santa Clauses, guys? Everybody loves Santa Claus. I know I do. How about some ribbon? By the way, somewhere in the garage is a whole box of ribbon, guys. We got more ribbon than you could shake a stick at. Some more nutcrackers back there, guys. Turned around the other way. This has probably been one of the most fun houses we've done. I will tell you it's been a lot of work, but it's been fun because of the things that you get to see and find and take out of boxes. It's just absolutely amazing. All right. Turn you around here. We've got a nice wicker uh, bench there with just a boatload of stuff to Christmas bears and stuff like that. All right, I'm going to come over here, give you a good look at what's going on in the china cabinet here. Some beautiful pieces. Got a nice set back here. That all goes with that clear glass, by the way. It's frosted glass. Another nice set back here. Get up close and so you can see that. Bring you up here to the next shelf. Look at that Santa Claus right there. Isn't he cool looking? All right, let me close this doors here for you guys. Open that side up and give you a good front view there. All right, guys. Oops. Let's shut that door down. Take you around the back of the wall here. That whole bin is full of Christmas stockings. There's that box of ribbon I was talking about, guys. How about some candles? Everybody loves candles. All right. I'm going to do a spin this way, show you that nice uh, lounger there, kitchen, some stuff here, we got some more pieces and bits and pieces there, 
All right, before I get you into the kitchen and then into the back master, I want to show you the back porch too. Whoops. Careful there. Careful there, guys. All right. Spinning along this table. Just lots of birdhouses, odds and ends, angels. Some of this stuff you may remember seeing from the last sale because this table was pretty full left over from that one. We moved it over. Um, underneath of these is a lot of seashells and stuff, some wicker baskets, kitchen items. Sorry about that, moving my camera a little crazy. All right, we lift this one up. Pots and pans and kitchen and bowls, lots of bowls. I think we got some plates, Corelware. Yeah, lots of cool stuff, guys. We know how much you guys like the cool stuff, so that's why we like the cool stuff. Straighten up there. All right. Bring you over here. Santa Claus windsock out of the way. Look at all that blue, guys. The blue is really impressive looking. All right. Bring you back here. Alright, and then we'll show you this back table here. Look at that, more seashells. We should call this the Christmas Seashell House. How about that? Christmas Seashell House. And when we get to the garage, you're going to see why I'm saying seashells. Alright guys, let's take you in the house here. We're going to take you through the kitchen, and then after we go through the kitchen, we'll do the master, and then you'll get that big surprise in the garage that I told you about last sale. Alright, we got more kitchen items here. Okay. Um, Keurig is not for sale. Gotta have coffee in the morning, guys. We've got an entire table of green kitchen. How's that? Got all kinds of dishes and plates and bowls and oh my goodness. I think there's more to that set right there over there. Maybe. Alright, I'll get you over here to the back table. This little cake tray back there. Look at these guys. Nice little cookie jars right there. All right, see this right here, this glassware right here, guys? This is all part of this set up here in the cabinet. We just ran out of room in the cabinet. Okay, so we want you to know that's all one set there of glassware. Then there's another set here of dishware. Okay, I'm going to back up and get you above the cabinet so you can see that. Pelican, chicken, cookie jar, fish. And then a couple more cookie jars up there. Nutcracker and a snowman. All right, guys. I'll show you right here. Remember that chair was in the uh, Flagler Hotel down in the Keys, too. Never been outside. All right. Right here. Check this bed out. Look this up. For those of you that are naysayers, no way. Look this bed up. Okay. Was unbelievably expensive. Used. It's an antique, it's vintage, it's cast iron. I have the side rails put away so they won't fall down and hurt anybody. Guys, this thing is an unbelievable piece. Heavy, 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 heavy too. Okay, take a look at there. All right, remember that uh, Renoir, uh, it's just a print. Copy of a print. Hey, there's a tea set that didn't make it in the kitchen or in the dining room. All right, I'm going to show you all the stuff on this table. A sewing machine down there, guys. All right, then we have all these dressed statues, doll statues, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. All just all kinds of stuff, guys. Got a nice king size bed here up against the wall. It's just a mattress and box spring. Okay. Shoes underneath there. Check this out. These are snow babies. 
And I believe we've got a few more. We're getting ready to unpack. I haven't seen them yet. But you literally have a whole snow baby village here. How cool is that? All right, take you around here. Over here we got dream sickles. There's more dream sickles somewhere. I don't know where they went, but I have to look for them. Okay. Underneath the table there we got shoes. Up here, got purses. Guys, you know you need to buy your wife some purses for Christmas. What better place are you going to go and buy Christmas gifts than right here with us? Look at that, all the clothing. Brand new clothing, still has tags on lots of it. Well, here we got some more beautiful statues here. Guys, you come buy this stuff up. Take it home. Give it to your wife for Christmas. She'll never be the wiser. She'll think you went to some fine, fine store and bought it. Get you a real pretty decorative box. We have some of those too. Some real nice decorative boxes. She'll, she'll never know. She'll never know that you saved money. Or she'll be happy that you saved money so that you can take her on that trip. All right, closet here, like I said, guys, full of clothes. And when you see Megan, everybody say hello to Megan. Megan actually took the time and organized this. So all the pants and shorts are on the bottom and all the shirts and tops are on the top. Isn't that amazing? So guys, tell Megan how much you really appreciate her making that easy for you. All right, I'm going to back up here. Linen's on the bottom. Close all the way up through the top, and then the very top shelf is some more linens. Hello, those are actually towels. Look at this rack. How about some scarves? You guys want some scarves? You need some scarves? Look at there. And on top of that, there's still two bags of scarves underneath. All right, gonna flip around here. Got some more costume jewelry. Got some hair barrettes. More odds and ends. How about some more seashells, guys? Seashell, seashell, by the seashore. Wait till you get in the garage and see we have even more. All right, we've got your normal toiletries, shampoos, band-aids, toothpaste, all the stuff you like to pick up inexpensively. Stocking stuffers, there you go, guys. We're gonna call those stocking stuffers. All right, guys, let's take you out and around. Oh, I don't bet you I showed you these two. How about some sewing goods? Got some umbrellas on the top there. Um, just the decorative stuff. Sewing. A few odds and ends, bits and pieces. We got snow sewing for these are for the needlepoint. All full of thread and a couple empties there. How about some picture frames? A little bit of floral on top. All right, guys, to the garage we go. In our way, we will stop in the laundry room, show you some more of the laundry room stuff you know the stuff we always find in cabinets cleaners um twist ties light bulbs scrubbies lots and lots of light bulbs how about some cleaners you guys like to pick up cleaners inexpensively by the way guys i'm not sure that we're going to have enough extension cords so we might have to buy a few more just to have in the sale and we are into the garage I'm going to turn to the right here and take you down the first row. Guys, before I tell you to, underneath the table is banana boxes. They are empty for packing afterwards. Please do not go ripping out all the banana boxes thinking we missed something. Because I promise you, we didn't miss nothing. We didn't miss nothing. You know why? Because we wanted to make sure we do this for you. Look at there. Seashells, some sponge. Tools, guys, we found some tools for you. You were looking for those last time. I'm gonna flip you around to the next table. Give you a quick look underneath there. We did some lean some things up against the boxes just to try to make it easy. Some blankets there. 
Christmas lights. There's a full box of Christmas lights. Plus some little wicker baskets there. I think that green box there is full of gardening tools. Some little hand tools there. Ladder will be for sale. All kinds of uh, gardening chemicals there. Some glassware, some more Christmas. We were running tight on Christmas. A little bit of roundup right there. Some more Christmas lights. And then we get into Christmas again, guys. It's starting to look a lot like Christmas. Look at this, guys. Look at this. It's unbelievable how much Christmas we have. Christmas and Christmas and Christmas and Christmas and Christmas. You are not going to find anywhere in the villages, in Ocala, in Lady Lake, that has this much Christmas. Two weeks before Christmas. We have picked the perfect time for you. Look at that. You will come here and you will clean up. You will get so much stuff. It is unbelievable. I believe it. Because I'm here and I'm living it with you guys every single time. I know what you guys do. And I appreciate what you guys do. Because if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be able to do what we do for you. All right, check this out. Seashells, even more seashells by the seashore. Hey, if you know somebody that has a uh, fish store, aquariums, things like that, a lot of this stuff would look really, really cool in some aquariums. See, look at there. There's a lot of really, really cool, cool stuff here. All right, I'm going to give you a switch around the back table here. Okay. How about some giraffes? Anybody here need a giraffe? We got a boatload of giraffes. All right, see these boxes? These boxes are all flowers. We are selling them by the box. We are not selling anything out of them, so don't pick out of them. It's just a box of flowers. Shredder there. I think there's another Christmas tree under there. Check out that guy. That's pretty cool. Alright guys. Oh, golf clubs back there. Got lots of golf clubs. Alright, I think I have done everything. We'd, oh, by the way, the refrigerator is for sale and it's a nice one. Works really good. We got some soda pop in there. All right, guys, turn the camera around so you can see me again and we can all say, hey, that's a 28 minute video. And guys, I hope I did not waste your time. I hope I gave you lots and lots of great reasons to come see us and hope to see you this weekend. Remember, we're running seven to five all three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, we're going to bring some coffee and donuts the first day because we know it's so early. Um, we'll get you all set up with that. And we hope to just have you guys come in and have a nice little party and enjoy things and, and enjoy us and as much as we enjoy you. And hey, thanks a lot and we appreciate everything you do. Bye.